Materials for the compost. Pieces of timber. Pieces of corrugated iron to form the bin for compost. Dry coconut husks. One wheelbarrow of soil or ash. One wheelbarrow of animal waste, pig, cow or horse. Kitchen waste, cassava, taro peel, potato peel, tea leaves, etc. No plastics or paper. Banana leaves, stems, grass clippings or any dry leaves. Legume leaves, Lucania, Caliandra and Gliricidia. For atoll islands, add some mangrove leaves to the compost. Note, mangrove leaves and branches do not have to be cut for this compost. Collect leaves and stems that have fallen on the ground. Water. Construct the pieces of wood and corrugated iron into a 1 by 1 by 1.5 meter box. Place coconut husks at the bottom of the box to aerate the compost. Place a layer of leaves on top the coconut husks Then place a layer of ash or soil on top of the leaves. Next, place a layer of animal waste on top of the ash or soil. Then lightly water the layer. It is important not to overwater each layer. Continue layering the compost materials till the box is full. After two to three days, Stick a knife in the compost for about five minutes. If the knife is hot, the process is taking place. Turn the heap over once a week and moisten the dry patches. Be careful not to overwater the compost. After six weeks, the compost is ready for use. For volcanic and ash soils, Use 2 to 4 kilograms per square meter depending on the soil fertility. For atoll soils, use one part compost and one part soil. This compost can be used on vegetable and root crops. Materials for making the neem-based pesticide 1 kg neem